Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapter. Myself Vishal Bulbule, and in this video, we are going to see what is rolling update in MIG that is Managed Instance Group. So, in previous few videos, we already seen how we can create a managed instance group, how we can use a load balancer along with managed instance group. So, in this video, we'll see one of the feature of a managed instance group uh, that is a rolling update. So, first, uh, we need to understand what is meant by a rolling update. So just take example of a WhatsApp if we are using a WhatsApp and everyone is nowadays using a WhatsApp. So WhatsApp has added a new feature in the WhatsApp application. So just say it added the calling feature. So when WhatsApp was introduced, there was only a chat feature. There was no calling feature or video call feature. So WhatsApp had just added a new feature. They developed a calling feature in WhatsApp. So they want to now make that version available to user so there are different versions of whatsapp for each country so whatsapp india whatsapp us so there is a separate guidelines for each country so what whatsapp will do whatsapp will just pick up one country or one specific geographical area let's say suppose a india so whatsapp will first make a whatsapp feature available in india and they will see the user feedback user issues if it is working fine for user or not and if everything is fine they will just uh, make that version available for another country say suppose us and then uk so they are gradually updating their features so that is called a rolling update so not updating everything at once so updating in a particular region one by one or in a particular set of server one by one it's called as a rolling update so we'll see how we can use this feature rolling update feature in managed instance group so what we'll do we'll create one sample managed instance group we'll deploy one simple web application on that and we'll try to see how we can upgrade our application to the another version using this rolling update feature so i'll go to my google cloud console here i already have one instance template created web app version 1 so it will print message this is my application version 1 on the browser if we use external ip and hit on that port so i'll create mig now so create instance group and here i will use the template which we created for version 1 i will give the name as a app web app here instance template i will use web app version 1 location i will choose a single zone only and minimum number of instances now i will keep a two maximum i will keep three i will add the same hill check again and i will create this managed instance group so i will pause this video for a few minutes because it will take some time to create this managed instance group and turn status into the green okay mig is up and running now let me open this mig and we'll see we have a application apache installed on it so it's not yet loaded let me reload it it's not showing the ip okay now it is showing the ip address you could see there are uh, two instances in this managed instance group and both are using a version one template i will just check the ip address for both the vm okay it's not giving any result so we'll wait for few seconds yeah now we could see the message in displaying on a one vm let me check for another vm yeah so both the vms are a displaying a message now okay now suppose i want to upgrade my application it means i want to make any changes in my application 
so what i will do i want to apply a rolling update so how we can apply a rolling update so i will create one more instance template here so here i had one instance template web app one so i will create one more instance template it will be exact similar i'll just make some changes so instead of printing version 1 i'll print a version 2 now so i'll just use web app version 2 name everything i'll keep as it is i'll just change the network application vpc and sub network will be subnet usc1 and now in usc1 where i am uh, using code for deploying application i will just change it a bit instead of printing version 1 i will print a version 2 so here i will just put a version and I'll create it I just created an instance template now let me again go back to another tab and create one load balancer for our managed instance group we already seen how to create load balancer and use for managed instance group in previous video I'll just create it quickly this time I'll just give the name as a web app load balancer so in backend service I'll create one backend service for my MIG it will select web app and port i will choose as 80 and balancing mode i will use a rate i'll keep to request per second done i will disable this cdn i'll create so go to issues i missed health check let me add health check let me create let me create it quickly as it will take few minutes to propagate the changes I will now go to my instance group and I want to upgrade or I want to apply rolling update to my managed instance group so out of 2 VM I want to apply rolling update on 1 VM first I will test it if it is working fine then I will go to the next VM so here you could see both the VMs are currently using version 1 I'll go to update VMs. Okay, so here now the latest is version one is being used of both the instances. I'll add second template. So I will use version two. Target size I will put one instance. I, either you can put a target size or you can put a percent. I'll put percent, fifty percent. Then it will do one by one. Okay. So I just want to apply this for one instance now here update configuration there will be two approach automatic selective that is proactive and opportunistic so what is automatic so if you choose proactive mode it will apply upgrade immediately if you choose selective it will just wait for a next refresh or restart and perform upgrade at that time so I will just use automatic and I will use only replace 
I will keep everything as a default and I will click on the update VMs so meanwhile I'll go to load balancer and we'll see if it is showing the correct data there so this is load balancer IP it is not showing it uh, it will take some time we'll wait for this instance group to perform update and after five minutes I can see now one of the instance is upgraded with the version 2 and one of the instance is still running on version A1 because we only applied rolling update on one instance so let me now go to this IP so here you could see earlier it was showing version 1 so let me use this IP now and it is upgraded to version 2 let me say this so this is still on version 1 and this is on a version 2 so one of our instance group is updated to new version one is still running on the older version now we will see load balancer how load balancer will work ok so it is now in routing to version 2 now version 1 version 2 version 1 version 2 so it is balancing between both version 1 and version 2 now if after few days it is found that version 2 is completely fine user have tested it and user are happy with version 2 and now we want to apply rolling update on all the available vms simply we can go update vms and here we can just mention percent as a hundred so instance version one will be having on a zero instance and all the virtual machine will be having version two that is a will roll out complete upgrade on the all instance in the managed instance group so we'll choose this automatic and I will update VMs so it should now update second VMs also with the version 2 we will wait for a few minutes now and we will see the result yeah now we can see both the versions are upgraded or both the instance are now updated with the version 2 so we rolled out complete update to our EMIG now we'll see a load balancer it should not return version 1 because both the instances are upgraded to version 2 so version 2 let me keep refreshing and it should return only version 2 and not version 1 and you could see it's only returning version 2 and not a version 1 so in this way we applied complete rollout to all the instances in our managed instance group so that's it for rolling update in MIG so let me know if you have any question in comment section I will try to answer you with queries and questions and thank you for watching this video